Hey guys, so first of all, I wasn't going to do this video just now, I was going to leave it a bit because I know I've got a lot of Doctor Who videos up recently, but a lot of people have actually been asking that I do these sort of sooner, so I thought, well, I'll do it, and plus I need the room, I need to put these DVDs away in boxes and things, so I'll do it now. So, um, as you can see by the title, I'm talking about Series 3 of Doctor Who, which you will find in these DVDs here, there are five of them, and Series 3 for me was very hard initially to watch, Um. Oh, first of all, let right, my jumper. It's got a Dalek on it. How cute is that? Sorry, so that was really cute. Um, yeah, so series three for me initially was hard to watch because um, getting over the whole Rose and Doctor thing was incredibly difficult for me, and I suppose I never really have to be honest with you. Um, but it was hard. But when series three started, I thought, right, I'm going to go into it with an open mind. I'm going to accept whatever they've got to give me, and I'll just take whatever they throw. And it turns out that it's actually really, really good. Now, when I found out that Free My Age Man was going to play Martha, I was like, okay. Because I'd seen her in um, The Army of Ghosts. And she, she, she wasn't an actress that jumped out at me, but she, I, didn't, I wasn't repulsed or anything. You know, she was just sort of there. Um, so I was like, okay, Free Ma, fine. But it turns out that Free Ma is actually one of the best actresses in the world. I mean, I couldn't have, I couldn't have chosen a better actress myself. You know, she is fantastic. Um... As far as the rest of the series go, um, well, I'll, I'll show you the DVDs individually and I'll give points in there. So, um, well, first of all, we have the wrong DVD. First of all, we have um, Volume 1, which is Smith and Jones, The Shakespeare Code, and Gridlock. Smith and Jones is alright for an opener episode. Not too much is given away, but you're still introduced to the character enough to sort of understand her. Um, the Shakespeare Code, my God. The Shakespeare Code is one of the best episodes ever. I absolutely adore the Carrionites. I love Lilith. Um, just absolutely fantastic episode. Um, very much one that I'd watch even if it wasn't Doctor Who. It was just a sort of like a series drama which is sort of similar. I'd watch it. I love it. Um, so Shakespeare Code is definitely fantastic. And then we have Gridlock, which um, I'm trying to see. There is a screen snap on the back of it, but it does another picture of the cats. Gridlock is the one with all the cats, like the cat gnomes come back slightly different, um, you've got Brannigan the cat and everything, and I just love the episode. Gridlock is probably my favourite episode out of the series. I, Gridlock is fantastic. Um, now, it, it's not that unique as far as some episodes go. I mean, the fact that they went back to New New Earth was a bit like, oh, well, can they not think of anywhere else to go? Sorry, my hair is annoying me completely. Um, so they went back to New New Earth and I was like, okay, this is a little bit heartbreaking because I was still at a very much Rose Doctor time zone. But um, as an episode, it was fantastic. And at the end, when they reveal something about the face of Bo, it is so, so upsetting. So that was very hard. Um, the next DVD is obviously Volume 2, which is this one here. And this has Daleks in Manhattan, Evolution of the Daleks, The Lazarus Experiment, and 42. Now again, having the Daleks back, so, I mean, I, I'm saying so soon. Essentially, it was only four episodes away. But, obviously, in terms of distance, it was almost a year after Doomsday when the Daleks came back. So, I'd had time to recover a little bit. But it was so... I mean, it was great to see the Daleks back. It was great to see David facing them again. I mean, I love the Daleks and... Well, I love David. But, um, I love the Daleks and it was great to see them in another episode. And the fact that it was set in New York... Um, so, I mean, it completely different. Um, rather than just having it in like an office or something, which was great. The episode, the like, Daleks in Manhattan and Evolution in the Daleks are just, like a combined episode. And it was good. It wasn't fantastic, but it was good. Then the Lazarus Experiment. Something about the Lazarus Experiment I just don't like. I don't know what it is. But I just can't seem to sort of connect with it. I just, it's not, it's not bad. It's not a bad episode, you know. It's well scripted and everything. But it, it's not like a, a bad episode or anything. It's just sort of, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just don't think it's that good. And then we have 42, which um, is very, 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 very much like the, um, and I, I shouldn't start a sentence until I know what I'm going to say. It's, it's very much like Planet of the, no, Planet of the Ood's the other one. The Satan Pit. There you go. It's very much like the Satan Pit, um, apart from the Ood aren't in this one, but it's very much a sort of on a spaceship, um, things like that. But I, I like the episode because we're going through doors and things, and I've got an obsession with, like, loads of doors and, like, finding where things are. I love that. But, um... So it's an alright episode, but it's a bit too much like others. Then the third one is um, Human Nature, The Family of Blood, and Blink. Now, Human Nature and Family of Blood is another two-parter, and it's set in the um, early 1900s. And David, um, the Doctor, is a human. He, he goes to be John Smith to save himself from 
the family of blood and things, and it's so horrible because David can't remember, do the doctor, my god, the doctor can't remember that he's the doctor and things, and Martha is very much in control and it's so heart-wrenching. Plus it's a really lovely era as well, I love that era, so it was great to watch. Then Blink, now Blink is one of the best episodes ever, weirdly, because the doctor and Martha, Martha are, in, are not in it that much really, but it's still um, a fantastic episode, and obviously Kerry Mulligan who played, they've got Kerry Mulligan who played Sally Sparrow has gone on to really great things since then. Um, I feel special, I have her autograph before she got famous, it's fantastic. Um, so Blink is good, and there's actually the Easter egg, you can download the Easter egg off, well you can't download off of YouTube, but you can, but, but um, you can get it off of YouTube and things, and you can actually um, say Sally's part and you've got David replying to you, it's brilliant, I do it all the time. Um, often, I get used to talking to myself anyway, um, obviously with doing these videos and things, and it's very entertaining. Um, and then finally we have the last one, okay maybe there's only four DVDs I lied. That's the Christmas one, but I'll talk about the Christmas one before that and like a special Doctor Who Christmas episodes video later on. Um, and then the last one is Utopia, The Sound of Drums and Last of the Time Lords, which is the three-parter. And oh my god, um, Doomsday was sad. This wasn't as sad as Doomsday, but I still cried. Um, because you have all the best characters in there, apart from, apart from Billy. Um, but you've got Captain Jack, um, you've got Martha... You've got the Doctor, um, there's a sort of face of bow twist and everything. Oh, it's just perfect. Um, you know, it's very much a here come the drums and you've got the sort of... I realise I can't knock properly, I just can't knock. But um, you've got the sort of four knocks. And then I didn't realise that was in the, the um, theme tune, you know, because the theme tune's... Blah, blah. I won't go on. But you know, I didn't realise the four knocks were in the theme tune until like last year I was totally gobsmacked so yeah the four knocks and then obviously that related to Dave's last episode which was horrible um, well written but um, very um, emotional so obviously these four DVDs are fantastic these are all PG um, as you can see at the side they're all PG my fingers are in the way but never mind so they're all suitable for everybody basically and they are quite cheap now. I mean, as you can see there, that was nearly £13 when it was first released back in 2007. 2007? That long ago? Seriously? No. Yeah, my God. doesn't seem like that long ago, does it? It, doesn't, it only seems like last year or something. Um, but you can get them for around... The DVDs individually you can get for like £5, £6 now. But the box set itself is like a tenner. Um, 20 quid max, depending on where you go. But it's really, really cheap. You've got the confidential episodes and everything on there, so it's definitely worth um, buying the box set. I'm going to at some point, um, but I, I just love having the DVDs as well because it just looks more and it's fantastic. So um, I'm going to buy the DVD box set, but if you've got the box set, let me know if it's any good and if you think I should buy it sooner rather than later. Then, bleh, sooner rather than later, perhaps. Um, also, feel free to leave comments and things with your thoughts on the third series. Um, it's probably my third favourite. Go in series two, series one, series three, series four. So it's definitely my third favourite. Um, great, but not amazing. So feel free to leave me comments with your own thoughts and things, and let me know if you if you want me to do the series four one sooner rather than later as well, because I've got my series four DVDs ready there for um talking about them if you want me to. But let me know if you want a break from the Doctor Who videos as well, because I know that a lot of videos on one thing is a little bit tedious. You know, like I've got a lot of Jennifer Aniston ones to post, but I'm sort of like. I won't, I won't make the videos just now because I don't want a lot of Gen videos. Yes, so Doctor Who. Um, feel free to leave, um, leave comments and things with your thoughts on this series. Um, and please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.